Hi, this is Dr. Acastro. Today's topic, by popular demand, the question, answer the question, if MH370 could fly in the shadow of another plane to avoid radar detection. Radar works by transmitting an electromagnetic signal with a known power. This goes and hits a target, bounces back from it, it comes with a much reduced power, and by processing the transmitted and received signals, we can calculate the distance, speed, altitude, and many parameters of the target. Now the question is, this is a shadow plane which is decided that you know, it's a 747, and this is the MH370, which is a 777 uh, plane, fly like this so it cannot be detected by the radar answer is almost impossible. We can see it from this very simple graph. Assume that this is the radar. This is the blue, is the blue plane, which is actually the shadow plane, the 747, right here. And as it goes in time, it goes to this location. And radar scans. So our plane, which is the 777, has to be in the green area, shaded area, to avoid radar detection. When it comes here, it has to be here. Now, let's put them into an extreme situation. If it is here, it will be detected by the radar because it's not in the shadow area. If it's here, it's okay. But if it's here or there, it will be detected by the, by the radar as well. So, I have to know the speed, the course, and the attitude of this plane and the radar coordinates. The shadow is a function of the distance and the altitude of the t uh, distance to the, uh, the, the course. So I have to manage this course so well. So. I have to be always in this plane. This means that we cannot fly at the same speed. We have to adjust our speed based on the distance to the radar, distance to the plane. Now, the pilot is said that it turns off the transmitter, transponder. Not to be detected, he's going to be turned off his radar as well. It's a standard practice. So, I would ask this question. How can this plane know the distance to the target, to the other plane, at dark? We are flying at dark. And I have to always adjust my speed based on his speed and the distance. This is an almost impossible task, and this could be discarded. The main issue here is we still have the wrong search area, which is indicated in blue in the media. Last presentation we showed P1 and P2 and the area that we are supposed to be in are these two circles. This is indicated in the presentation and the paper. This is where the plane can be, not in the blue kidney type regions that we see in the media. Let's fix this first, please. Thank you very much.